Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to discuss how to put together a basic hiking kit for beginners. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It will really help the channel out. Thanks. If you're interested to go hiking in a natural outdoor environment, such as a forest or jungle, it is very important that you are prepared. Besides comfortable clothes and the right shoes, you will need a hiking kit that will make your hike enjoyable and will also ensure you're prepared for emergencies. This kit is to be carried in a waist pouch or a backpack. However, I will not be discussing the carrying bag here, but will focus on the kit itself. Let's get started. I will start off with what I consider essential items in the kit. The first is a map of the place you'll be hiking at. I recommend both a printed and digital map. There are many apps around that you can download which will give you routes and trails of the location you're at. I use all trails because I find that's best for my location and it's really got many different routes. A lot of them are user generated as well. So regardless of the app you use, find one that will fit your location, check out reviews and find out which is most suited for your city or for your country. Now you can download the maps and it's always important to download the maps into your device because you do not want to depend on mobile data because when you're out in the wild, you probably won't get a signal. So make sure you download the map in your device and once you download it, most good apps will allow you to print it out as well and that's how you get the printed map. And then you can put it into a map bag like this or even a Ziploc bag. And in this case, you'll be covered both ways, both digitally as well as printed. Now having a map is really important even if you're going out with friends or with a guide because you never know when you might get separated and that is when a map becomes invaluable. And it's important before the hike for you to take note and mark down where your starting point is, your ending point is, any key locations, rest points or base camps so that you at least have some idea where you're going. The next item is your water bottle or canteen. Water is essential when you go out for any outdoor adventure, so you need to make sure you're always hydrated. I did a video previously on the best water canteens for hiking, camping and bushcraft. You can check that video out in the link above or the description below. So regardless, you do need some kind of water bottle. This is the one I use. It's a plastic one liter military style canteen. I also have an aluminum canteen cup for boiling water if I need. And all this is in a pouch that I carry on my belt. So that's the way I like to carry my water on the belt. But if you're starting out hiking, you might want to put it in a backpack. Or if you don't have a survival belt, you can also attach it to a waste bag. Having some kind of basic first aid kit is also very important. This is actually the current kit that I carry in this particular pouch. It's got everything from tissue, super glue, eye drops, uh, bandages, some medication, hand sanitizer, and a snake bite kit. And I shared the contents of this particular first aid kit in another video as well. You can check that out in the link above or the description below. I have since changed the pouch, uh, something that fits I think better in my bag, but essentially all the components are the same. Now you don't need to carry such an extensive kit, but carry some essentials like plasters, bandages, and of course if you need any medication, do carry that as well. There are many ways to get injured out in the wild, whether it's a small scratch or something more serious, so you always want to be prepared and at least have some basic first aid. The next couple of items are to protect you from the outdoor elements. Of course, it will depend on the environment and climate that you are in. I'm in a tropical jungle environment, so really sun and rain. Those are the main things uh, that I have to protect myself from. So a hat uh, to protect your head and just shoot your eyes. You can also bring sunglasses or wear a hat. Sunblock, very important as well, especially if it's very hot. You do not want to get overexposed to the sun and you need a raincoat or a poncho to protect you from the rain. A cutting tool is very important when you go out into the wild. Now as a beginner, you can start off as simply as having a folder or folding knife, such as a basic Swiss army knife. So one with a main blade and some support tools. You can also get bigger Swiss army knives uh, such as this one. 
this is the trail master it's got a nice big blade and it's got a liner lock as well and there are other tools like a saw and phillips head screwdriver the great thing about the swiss army knives is that there are many different knives and you can pick one that suits your needs you can also choose a single blade folder such as this. This is the Spyderco Parrot 3. Uh, so this is a nice uh, knife that will allow you to do a lot of outdoor tasks and you can feel confident with it in hand. There are also fixed blade knives, which are basically knives that do not fold. But as a beginner, that's not something you probably invest in. So I just recommend getting a folder that's not too heavy and that you can easily carry in your pocket or in your pack. We're now living in a digital world and even though we're going out into the wild, we do have our personal devices like our smartphone which we're going to rely on such as downloading maps or maybe other apps that you use that are going to be useful for you. So you will need extra power, so definitely bring a power bank with you. Uh, this is a great small one. This is from Nightcore and this is model NPB1. And this particular small lipstick style uh, design, which is round, so it's very space efficient, uh, at least I feel, and can fit into your pocket or in your pouch. Uh, this is 5000 mAh, so that's basically about one and a half charges of most smartphones. Uh, it's also water resistant, so rating of IP68. So having a battery power bank is very important to ensure that if your power drains out, especially if you happen to get lost and you're out longer than you expect, your phone may run out of power. So that's where this comes in. The Scout's motto is be prepared. And being prepared out in the wild means having items with you that could help you in an emergency situation. That's where something like this comes in. This is a survival wallet that I've put together. And if you want to check out the details, do check out the video in the link above or the description below. It's got a collection of items, uh, everything from fire starting tools. There's even a cutting tool. So it could replace your folding knife that I mentioned earlier. It's got some first aid, um, cordage, as well as useful things like uh, gaffer's tape. So really a whole bunch of stuff, including water purification. So do check out the video to really learn what the contents are inside uh, and this could really be handy. It doesn't take up much space, it's not that heavy, but there are many things inside that could help you out in a very challenging situation. The next couple of items are what I would consider good to have or nice to have. But if you have the space, I highly recommend you include them in your kit. The first is insect repellent. Of course, again, this depends on the environment you're in. In a tropical jungle, lots of bugs, especially mosquitoes. So this insect repellent will come in very handy. Next up is emergency rations. So I always bring around at least one kind of a granola bar or energy bar. So having this can be very important. If you happen to get lost or if you find your energy low, you just want you know, something to munch on and also great morale boosters as well. So very lightweight, uh, but full of energy. So you can keep that on you as well. Next, we have a towel and a towel is really just to wipe your perspiration. In a pinch, it can be used to filter water or used to, I guess, cover a wound if you really need to, if it's clean enough. And uh, for hiking, you can get these uh, quick dry towels, which are very thin. Uh, they absorb water, but you can squeeze them out and dry quite fast as well. So I always carry one of these towels when I hike. And finally, for convenience, you might want to bring out some wet tissues or you could bring out these magic towels. So basically these would expand when you put a bit of water on. So all these items can make your hike more enjoyable, a bit of convenience, a bit of luxury, but all these are good to have. There you have it, a basic hiking kit for beginners. The key is to find lightweight options for all the items in the kit and decide which essential items fit your needs. You also need to consider the environment you'll be in, the length of your hike, time of day, and personal fitness level. Let me know if you think anything is missing and if you would recommend a different hiking kit for beginners. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.